Guys, it's going to be a wild ride today. It's still day one of the occupation and there are exciting, unexpected and shocking things to come. Get out the popcorn, buckle up, let's go. Before the ride starts, I really wanna pay tribute to the one and only DOA. I bow down to the protesters champion and I don't think I'm the only person who is blown away by what he's put together. I'll just say one thing. History is being made with the protest against Scientology, even if the old media ignores it. Today, you guys are taking the protest in Los Angeles to another level. All of this is only possible because a community of wonderful people has dedicated itself to one goal. It is for the voices of the victims. It's for the children, and it's for, it's for the victims and the children who went through child auditing. That is what was watered down and going clear and all that was the conversation about child auditing that is the focus right so child auditing and the elders it's it's tragic what's going on so that we need to really spread that message through having fun having just having fun and and having community when chris arrives he is overwhelmed sure they all know but this point, man, you, you guys been killing it. You've been killing it. Fucking, I, I haven't been watching too much DOA, but you, you've been out here for yes, the whole day, bro. Weeks, okay. You make me think I've been putting in no hours, bro, even I be here every day. Hello, how's it going, sir? Up, how's it going? Johnny. Nice to meet you, man. I'm loving all this. This is freaking wild. Guys, it's time to, it's time to decorate. How are you doing? Good, man. How's it going? Man, this is crazy, bro. I can't yeah. believe this. I can't believe this. Bro. I can't believe this. So the convoy is still in a, like an hour, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. At six. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Let me go decorate my car, you know? Right, cool. I know DOA would love that, so. You got flowers. They're about the barbecue. I don't think that's vegan, though. I don't think that's vegan, to be honest with you. Low key, that's vegan, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's that's for them, and that's for me. Hey, DOA, I see all this meat down here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this what I'm eating tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what he's cooking. That's what he's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. We got this. Is this is only this is no cheese. No meat. This is vegan only. This this is for the carnivores. And the, and the I figured that this is gonna be for the vegans, for me, this for me, and you guys can have that. One. And, and someone specifically came with vegan burgers, and he specifically said you too. Yeah. Well, I'm you know. shocked by this, man. I'm gonna shock. I'm shocked. Yeah. When it's I came amazing. pulling up, I no man, the, no, you, this is this is stop, stop, stop. This is you. I thought it'd just be a, you know a little. It's a whole, it's a whole fucking block, and there's nobody back there. But I mean, uh, this is Scientology, yeah. Lucy. Well, you got flowers and plants yeah. and. I got herb towers. Man. I got ba We'll have fresh basil and parsley, uh, and, and the whole nine yards. We got uh, 1,200 gallons of water. Uh, I'm going to have water. We'll have water here soon. I am hey. shocked, man. This... <laughs> showers, got portable showers. I am also overwhelmed. Tents, showers, three barbecue stations, tables, chairs, food for everyone who wants it, tents for the homeless. It's just incredible what the community and DOA have prepared. Whoa. I'm just shocked by it's all amazing. of this. Amazing. My document over here. Hi, how are you? Now it's finally time to go. The vehicles are decorated with signs and texts and ready for departure. Around 25 vehicles take part in the convoy. The first goal is to complete three laps around the Scientology Test Center. Then it continues to the Celebrity Center with another three laps and finally three more laps around the Big Blue Building. Let's start the honking concert. Too distracting, really? Woo! 
<laughs> there's DOA's van, there's Will and Jess. Woo! There we go. Lots of good message in there. Yes! It's a car! Yes! <laughs> Little mini streets. Woo! This is Davey Mismanage, Mindy. Woo! Woo! Some of them may have even finished a finished a lap or be coming up on it. Hey, woo! Next stop, Scientology Test Center. <laughs> streets is there. The streets be there. The man, the man, the myth, the <laughs> this is so, this is so nice. Yeah, I see it. I see it. It's a traffic jam out here. It's a traffic jam. Jess arrives at the test center and waits for the convoy. Well, actually, she's waiting for Streets LA because he saw a delivery robot and had to shout at the robot straight away. It's just hilarious when he does that. Jess was able to film the convoy as it made its rounds around the test center. In the meantime, a few protesters are at the Blue Building to keep an eye on things and the special Scientology party. As you can see, it's an absolute flop, or a flunk as Scientologists would say. There is hardly a soul to be seen. Pure sadness. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> I know, did you hear about the whole convoy? Did, no. did you just get here? Yeah. Oh my god, there, there's been a whole line of vehicles. They're actually circling around the different properties right now. I'm sure they'll be back, but there's probably about 10 vehicles. Yeah. On the way, the convoy also passes the Hollywood Guarantee Building with the L. Ron Hubbard Life Exhibition. Chris really enjoyed driving to the origin of the motherships with his dolphin on his car. The dolphin, people liking the dolphin. Yeah, we're going to the mothership! We're going to the mothership! Let's go get them, boys. Let's go get them, boys. Let's go get them, boys. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, pull up, motherships. Come, come out, Frankie. This construction site in front of the entrance to the HGB on, hasn't made any progress for months. I think this is the excuse for the other Scientologists why the big white buses Let's can no longer pick up Let's the Scientologists go. here, and they therefore have to work somewhere else. But what do I know? I didn't grow up in this cult. We continue to the Scientology Celebrity Center. Unfortunately, two streets at the Celebrity Center were closed because they were having the intergenerational day of prayer that very day. Coincidence? I don't know. So the convoy couldn't do any laps around the center, but they were able to show La Poubelle that they were there. I guess she's... Look, the prime driver. Of course, La Bell lets his blind down. They have a lot to hide. I promise you, it will be a surprise. Put the shades down in the rape restaurant, right. Science house is a call. You're eating at the rape restaurant. You all for that? <laughs> I think this is a better way to stop uh Stop La Poubelle. What's going on, brother? You put this together, bro. No, no, no. This is all you. This is all you. No, 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 no. This is all you. And this is so impressive. Oh, man. I'm not hearing nothing. This is all you. He's not looking very well. He's definitely not looking very well. Jess had seen him before and told Solomon in streets. He's not trying to hide at all. Look, 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 Daniel's here, Daniel's here. Yes, you saw correctly. 
Daniel from Salem is with Francoise Coster, the owner of La Poubelle. He's hanging out with her. That was a shock for me. He's been protesting against Coster for months, hasn't he? I'm questioning everything about Daniel right now. I'll show you how much I forgot about the cards. Huh? I'll show you how much I forgot about the cards. Okay, I'll show you how much I forgot about the cards. Now you see how much I forgot about the cards, right? What does that have to do with me? Why is he looking at Coster right now? Why would you do this? Why? I disrespect you how? Yeah. How did I disrespect you? You're screaming at me. So disrespect you for hanging out with Francois, so you hang out with Francois. It says more about you than anything else. Maybe that maybe the accusation is true. That's why I'm starting to wonder now. No, I think it is. I think it is. Let's see who you work. We see who you work for, Daniel. Daniel, this very smart person. This very very smart person said that he did not like the I fact lied. that I called him out for hanging out with Francois. And here he is hanging out with Francois. He's a plant. Shortly after this action, Daniel posted this. He's a plant. So you know him, you know his music stuff. Just cancel his Beat shit. It'll be very hard. Beat it's your narrative. It's your narrative. It's the facts. It's not a fact. It's not a fact. You're here. And you're a sad person. Do you guys, does anybody have respect for this guy? This loser? That's what he... Interesting. Coster is filming the interaction between Daniel and Streets. Is this another setup for the court case she is likely to lose? A few weeks ago, Daniel had an exclusive interview with Coster. What was that? Was it staged? Or has he only been in contact with her since then? I find it all very suspicious. Dan was one of the protesters who stayed at the Blue Building, and he makes his rounds around the block. He has a very interesting encounter with Parker, the chief of PAC security. What's interesting is that the two LAPD officers ignore what's happening. They don't want to be involved, which makes the situation hilarious. When was the last time you spoke to your mom? Sir, you've been warned on camera. Okay. There is a street closure you for this east part of the sidewalk. Great. You should disclose the camera, but there that's There is right. a street closure on this east part of the sidewalk. So I'm this giving is you an fine. official warning on camera. Mm -hmm. This is fine. Flunk, so try again. Stop start over. Flunk, walking. start over. Flunk, start Stop over. Moving. Thank you. Parker. Flunk, start I'm over. John Parker. Call And he comes back. He just doesn't understand that he has no authority. Officers, this, this guy's an idiot. Officers, LAPD officers, legitimate officers, this guy's an idiot. Y'all, this guy's an idiot. Can we just like tell him that he's an idiot? Thank you so much. No, there aren't. It's not a religion. There's no religious services going on. What religious services? Tell me what religious services are going on. Mm -hmm. There is a permit. I'm on a public sidewalk. sidewalk. I'm on a public a sidewalk. Well, I don't see anything that says that there's a permit for this, so. Can I see the permit? The frame is right there. Oh, it's, it's not facing me. Both, no, it's not facing sides, me. It's not facing out. me. So please Parker, call your sidewalk. mom. Parker, call your mom. Please move off Parker, your family please. loves you. Your family misses you. So you've gotten a warning on camera. Mm -hmm. The police are present. Hey, so officers! Officers! Can you bring them over? Absolutely, sir. Okay, great. Can't wait. So scared. You're filming me. Oh, no. I'm on stream, you idiot. The convoy is back and making its final laps around the block. I think the convoy was successful and got a lot of attention on its route. Well done, guys. Well done. Parker, this is because of you! This is because of you, Parker! Look what you did! Look what you did, Parker! That's right! You're an idiot, Parker! You're an idiot! You're an idiot! What did you do? You did this! You did this! That's right! That's right! Oh, because of Parker!
Keep filming me, Parker. Keep filming me, Parker. It's gonna be happening all night. It's gonna be happening all night. After the convoy, everyone gathered again and talked a lot about the events. It was all very relaxed and the smell of grilled meat was in the air. Some of the protesters didn't know each other beforehand and were just getting to know each other. Being roped in by Francois Costa, so we go in hang around with Francois Costa. Kind of proved my point. He got rolled. <laughs> he just texted me the other day. I was like, I'm sick. Jesus. I thought he was like, concerned about me. Oh. Now he's enjoying his time at La Poubelle. I need to reach out and just say, hey, you know what? Francois wants to talk to you. Hey, can you come and testify about how you were bullied by the cult? That's all she's doing. Like, she's not a smart person. She is just. Yeah, I was telling her, I was following her. Before she got into the Everybody saw this. Yeah, yeah, I saw this. Oh, thing. sugar daddy stuff. Daddy's stuff. Ah. I watched like every video. I was jealous. I'm like, damn. Yeah, well, yeah, you can go to Beverly Hills. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Good, good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You get some food? Good, good. Legendary. Yeah, oh, good, good, good. This is the rib guy, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Grab a rib. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> On cue like for, <laughs> for being like uh, when we were protesting at the beginning of this year, <laughs> uh, I kind of going crazy. <laughs> 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 even if it was your brain wants to identify <laughs> things, like and like they want, yeah. especially yeah. The, the, the reason of life. They're just saying, like, this is the only grass that actually does. You don't something. know that. This is you know know what I mean? Most people can't get their head around. It was all relaxed until the LAPD showed up again and played park enforcement. I just saw the LAPD and immediately wanted to know what it was all about. Sergeant Lobo was already there in the afternoon to report cars that were parked incorrectly. Once again, the LAPD is park enforcement. I really can't understand it unless they are working on behalf of Scientology. Hello, one second guys, please, one moment. Honey, I got, you know I got my eyes everywhere. Well, everyone is in is enjoying is enjoying their their time together i'm over here y'all getting paid to direct traffic for what what is the point of that why does he have this little flashing thing what is the point they can do this on their own they don't need you to direct traffic they're going to go in that direction they can only drive in one direction guys can you give me his name and look up his shit i need to see if he lives in la What's your serial number? What's your serial number? How come you how come your body cam? Where's your body cam at? Where's your body cam at? Your body cam. Hey, what's your serial number? How come you don't have a body cam? On? You're quiet. LAPD. You're here. You are interacting with the public. You should have a body cam on, right? His sergeant is not enough. You're supposed to have it on. Sergeant, how come they don't have their body cams on? Sergeant, how come they don't have their body cams on? They're supposed to have their, their inter, right now you are doing an investigation and you're implementing LAPD policy. They are supposed to have their body cams on. You are their supervisor. You are going to be written up for that. They are supposed to have their, they are supposed to have their body cams on. If, if you are doing, if you are doing enforcement, you should have a body cam on. Well, again, what's your serial number again? P3 plus one, you are violating LAPD policy. There you go. You guys are wasting everybody's time here. Come on, keep going. You're, you're, you're wasting everybody's time. You go ahead, take off. Keep going. This is where $140,000, $150,000 goes a year. And again, to do all this, the only thing you guys got 
is your ass is written up for violating LAPD policy. Shit, they came over here to try, bro. You're still going to get their asses written up. Well, you guys That's all. That's all I need to know. Hey, Jimmy, you better come try it because I don't cook this every day. I think you guys need to go down to Skid Row and worry about Skid Row and what's going on down there with all the drugs. The incident in which Michael was arrested is about to happen. He speaks to Sergeant Lobo and he pushes him back. Michael simply reacts and touches the sergeant on the upper arm. Then everything happens very quickly. The sergeant reacts overly aggressively and Michael is arrested. Yeah. There are kids. Thank you very much. There's actually. There are kids locked up in here. Hey, give me space. Hey, don't touch me. Hey, Don't touch me. There's actual crimes out there. Real people doing drugs. Hey, you. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Michael, no. Why did you do that? No, Michael. Oh, no. I have Michael pushed the officer. Michael defended himself and pushed the officer. No. Oh my God. No. Oh my. So so uh, the officer pushed Michael and Michael pushed him back. Oh my God. No. You're arresting somebody, so you're saying special... He defended himself! Your fucking sergeant pushed him! I have it on video! Michael is taken to the Scientology compound where no one can follow him. It gets pretty wild and loud. Everyone tries in their own way to make it clear that this was not justified. As it got louder and louder, more officers and even the helicopter were called. The LAPD has gone way overboard, and Sergeant Lobo is another cop who can't control his emotions and is freaking out. Streets tries to calm the situation and prevent the LAPD from clearing the entire block, including the barbecue and everything that goes with it. and your dumb fucking mustache. Get your ass back in there. What's your serial number? What's your last name? Serial number. Last name, serial number. You're supposed to identify to the member of the public. Put your fucking body cam on. Hey, Chief Joy. Why the fuck does this guy not have his body cam on? This fucking meathead. Hell, 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 where is your camera? Erwin, where is your body cam? No, don't, 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 don't do it, don't do it. No, no. I don't know where he's back. Please, where is He's back there. He's a wrestler or detained. Hey, 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 everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody, let's back up. Let's everybody back up. Hey, 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 everybody, let's back up. Let's not give him a reason to clear out the whole block, including what's going on over there. If we give him a reason to clear it out, they're going to clear out the whole block. Let's just step back. Let's not be antagonistic anymore. Hey, everybody, let's come over here. Let's let, let's step out of the way. There's nothing. This is not going to improve anything. Let's step over here because we don't want them to say they're going to clear out everything, including what's going on over here. Let's step over here. We're going to figure out what we're going to do with Michael. They got more units coming, so they're going to try to clear out the area, guys. Let's step away. Let's step away. It's not going to help the situation. If, we, if you keep on doing that, they're going to clear out the whole block. They're going to set a perimeter over there, two blocks away, and not going to let anybody be around here. You guys are hey, guys, let's, guys, guys, let's do me a favor. They're going to clear out the barbecue. That's what I'm saying. Let's not give them a reason. Let's all go back to the barbecue. Let's all go back to the barbecue. If they set up a perimeter or two blocks in either direction, all this gets cleared out. We're going to have to figure out Michael's situation separately, but let's not, end, let's not escalate it. We'll put on some bacon for the pigs. Yeah. Everyone calmed down and went back to the barbecue. They couldn't change the situation with Michael that evening. We'll find out when there's something new.
For now, Michael is in jail.